Go, action. Action. Screen printers, it's Ryan from Made to Make It. So this vlog is actually based on this book, which I just got yesterday, super excited about it. A lot of the things that we're doing in the vlog series come out of the book. So it's more focused on the business than Made to Make It book. It's Made to Make It in the business of screen printing. It's gonna be available very soon, so check it out. So in this section, actually in page 112 of the book, and we're talking about screen printing supplies, but not just screen printing supplies, it's the environmental side of screen printing supplies. Our industry is super wasteful when it comes from the garment, to the supplies, to the health of team members and employees in your shop. So in this section, in this vlog, we're actually going to Blue Moon over in Ohio and check out one of the cool things things they do, they do in their shop to be more environmentally friendly. Okay, so Pierre with Blue Moon, uh, what makes us different? We are trying to make our customer's customer happy. So since we're contract printers, it's not, it's all about the end result. Everything we do has to do with end result. The goal of the shop is to improve lives. So we just happen to be printing t-shirts and uh, we use rock equipment and what else? That's it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show that awesome darkroom thing you got, got to build. All right, Matt with Blue Moon. Yep. Show us what you got going on here. Well, we have a two stage separation tank that is just made out of old ink barrels and some parts from the, from the hardware store. Um, dirty water comes in, comes at the first stage, solid settle to the bottom. These are just plastic baffles to uh, stop any floating debris from going across the the bridge and it goes to the second tank, settles some more, and then eventually comes out into the five stage system and it comes out pretty clean actually. It's yeah there's not a lot of red not not much at all. And we with this in place we are able to clean these once a month. Once a month that's once a it? month. Yep. Wow. And this is maybe once a week we're cleaning these out. That's not bad at all. Yeah and it's that saves a lot on filters. You know that probably hasn't been cleaned in a few days. So Who's that? So how did you guys come up with this? What was the, uh, the thought I think process? Greg had one like that, but it's a pretty simple you know, yeah. settling system. And how do you have to ever have to change the water in that? We haven't yet, but we will eventually. We'll probably get a shovel or something to scoop out the debris. Uh, we're not sure what we're so you notice what yet. we did is we took the, the bars that used to be inside and put them outside. Oh yeah. So now mm -hmm. we can take the bar off and we can just scoot this out. To, to dump it and drain it. Uh, we use a like a coat hanger and we'll poke the bottom, see how much sediment is down on the bottom, but this has been now, what, three months or something? We still yeah. haven't. <coughs> We're still talking thousands of screens. Um, and that's way better on the environment and yes. yeah. on consumables too for that. In future episodes, we're going to show a ton of other cool things that you can do in your shop to be more environmentally friendly for both the environment and your team. And it is important. One of my mentors in screen printing, Marvin Gio, who taught me a ton of stuff and was in a lot of our old videos, actually is written here by page 112 in the book. He actually has been screen printing for like 30, 40 years, he used a ton of harsh solvents. I used to get mad at him because he'd be up in the shop spraying screen opener everywhere and smell like crap before classes but he actually died from liver complications due to all the chemicals inhaled from years and years of screen printing. Kind of tells the story in the book, but it is important to think about that, not just for the environment, which is obviously where we all live, but also for your team. So thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to stay tuned next week for more great lessons from Made to Make It, and check out this book coming soon. Have a great day, guys.